What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bulldog Weekly. I'm your host, Rachel. And I'm Danielle. Happy Halloween! This week, we're going to meet another host, see the Freshman's Homecoming skit, watch some bloopers, and rate candy in a special Halloween segment. But before we get into all that, here's Principal Mr. Duvall with the week ahead and Athletic Director Mr. Tilden with the Sports Rundown. Hello everybody, it's the Rundown. Uh, it might be the easiest week of the year. Today is November 3rd. It's daylight savings, so we all got an extra hour of sleep. That's good, especially for our high school kids. Uh, November 4th, day six in our cycle. Uh, it's Mentor Day in the Bulldog Block. In the evening, the MIA quarterfinals for Division II South Girls Volleyball. Our number four seeded girls team will be taking on the fifth seed Aponiquit. They split this year, each team winning a game, so this is going to be a a big tournament matchup, 6 o'clock in our gym on Monday. November 5th, day 7, Fisher College will be joining us during the Bulldog Block. November 6th is day 8, it's nothing happening. November 7th is day 1, it's a delayed start. What does that mean? Students don't have to report to homeroom until 8.30. Why? First Thursday of every month, so that's November 7th, day 1, delayed start. November 8th, day 2, and that's it, there's nothing happening. So it's a slow week. We will have updated tournament information for our fall teams once we get it. Uh, as soon as we get it, you'll get it. So have a great day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the extra hour of sleep. Thank you, Mr. Duvall. Fastball today, I like that. Crazy week of sports, as usual. Final week this week was um, pretty entertaining. Girl, boys soccer yesterday uh, needed to win to get into the tournament. Dight Dight and Rehoboth needed to win to get in, and we played to a 0-0 tie. Uh, so no, neither team is moving on to the tournament, but man, it was quite a game. We'll just treat that as the conference uh, championship anyway. So uh, good run there. Girls soccer finished yesterday 5-1 to one over Somerset Berkeley. They are 20-0. and 0. They're going in uh, with a great winning percent, with the best winning percentage you can get. We're hoping for a number one seed. Uh, those seedings will come out tomorrow. Girls volleyball finished with the fourth seed uh, over upon, just over Pontiquet, so we're going to host them on Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, that's been a great season, so we're hoping we can get through a few rounds over there. Football, um, playing a Pontiquet for the second time. Uh, they beat us the first time, 14 to nothing. We're hoping for a different outcome. Uh, we think it's going to be a great game. That's 4 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, then we're going to see them again on Thanksgiving. Uh, but this is a tournament, so we've got to win to keep on moving on in that winner's bracket. Uh, golf is done. They had a great run, great young talent. We're looking forward to next year, and we're doing winter sports sign-ups now, so if your son or daughter is interested in playing winter sports, make sure you see, have them swing by the athletic director's office and see us. And I think that's it, so back to the Bulldog crew. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mr. Duvall and Mr. Tilden, for the update. Now let's get to know a new Bulldog Weekly host. Why don't you start by introducing yourself? All right. Hello, my name is Aiden Roots. How long have you been involved in ORC TV? I've been involved in ORC TV for about four to five months. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Now, what has been your favorite project at ORC TV? My favorite project at ORC TV has to be the donut challenge, where we all just eat a lot of donuts blindfolded, or I don't, but everyone else does. They eat just a donut after donut. It's insane. You should go check it out. Recommend. Very good segment. Very good. It is very good. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun to make. A lot of fun to be in. It's great. Yeah. All right. What are you most looking forward to working on at ORC TV? Probably this project we're doing called Move. Now, what else are you involved in at school? In school, I'm involved in a lot of things. First of all, I'm involved in eSports club, which everybody should join. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. How exciting. It is. What else? That's pretty much it. Okay. What is your greatest <laughs> strength? My greatest strength has to be my insane intelligence. Basically, if you don't know me, I'm really smart. And I can pick up on things, like, really quickly. Like, if someone's thinking, oh, I don't want to do this, I realized them, and I was like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. And they're like, thank you. And I used all my tests. It's not a big deal. Really. Wow. Pretty much a genius. Yeah, pretty much a genius. You can call me Sherlock Holmes. That's what uh, they call me on the streets. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, what are you most talented at? One of the things I'm talented in is robotics and coding in general. I don't know. I've always been on like computers. I've, as a kid, 
or as a kid in like third grade, me and my best friend who went to a robotics club and who put together a bunch of like Lego robots. And it was something I've always kind of been fiddling around with. So robotics is definitely something out there that I've been doing my whole life. And now I'm taking a robotics class in school. Oh my and gosh. I'm excelling. Yes. Right. It's a lot of fun. You're, you're doing okay. I'm doing okay. If you weren't at ORCTV, what would you spend your spare time doing? You know, just kind of working out, getting fit. Obviously. <laughs> see, Obviously. You can see by my huge pecs of that I got here. I'll just quickly flex for you. I mean, you can't All really right. see because my sleeves there. Dang. But I'd probably be working out a lot, you know. And I'd also be watching a lot of Netflix, just sitting in my bed, staring at my stealing, watching the time go by. It's the wheel of life, the wheel of time. It's beautifully said. Thank Gorgeous. You. Now, <clears throat> if you were a day of the week, what day would you be? Mm. See, this question has to be the hardest question so far, the most difficult question. Because mm -hmm. you have to consider a lot of things. Like, are you a party person? Because if you're a party person, then you should be like, you know, a Friday or a Saturday. Or you Obviously. Like, or you like, if you're more a religious person, then you should be going to Sunday. But if you're like someone who doesn't, I don't know, doesn't really like life, then you'd probably choose Monday because that's the worst day. Wow. So I'm, so, I'm sorry to say it, but Monday is the worst day of the week. I mean, I have to agree with you. It is, it really is. So I would say my favorite day of the week has to be Tuesday. You're a Tuesday? Tuesday. I'm a Tuesday guy. Now, very important question. Yeah. What's your spirit animal? That's a difficult question. I've never really considered myself a spirit animal guy, but if I had to choose one, it would be a giraffe. So I feel like giraffes, so they kind of just chill all day, you know? They can lie down, and their necks are so long, they can eat the leaves off the trees. That's <laughs> so cool. It, it is. Yeah. It's because they're like, you think they're a normal animal. Like, if you look at their, like, chest down, then you see their neck, and it's just, like, triple the size. It takes everyone by surprise. It does. Like, the first time yeah. you see a giraffe, you think it's, like, some sort of freak in nature. But really, it's the most okay, important thing in nature. Please be nice to I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm I'm down. Sorry. Okay. Well, I think my spirit animal would be a giraffe. And you're tall. And I'm tall. Perfect. Well, I wasn't going to mention that, but, you know, I'm 6'4", okay. if you haven't heard. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, really? It's crazy. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Favorite movie? Favorite movie is going to have to be Bohemian Rhapsody. Favorite color? Favorite color, blue. Favorite season? Winter. What do you wish you knew more about? I wish... Hmm. It's kind of difficult because I know a lot of things. A lot more than the average person, obviously. Because <laughs> you're a genius. I am a genius. Of course. But one thing I wish I knew more about would probably be how to present, like, organized. Because the way I, I don't know, the way I present things is I just kind of have a, like a burt of, I, or spurt, or blurt <laughs> of <laughs> ideas. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and it's just like, oh, what if we do this? What if we do this? What if we do this? And I keep on building them on top of each other and it's like come up with something really good or really bad. So what I want to know is I want to think, I want to know how to think like organized. Like, okay, maybe if I say this to them, they'll get hooked. And then I can say these things and they'll be like, yeah, that's it. Instead of running up to them and like basically yelling at their face, I just had this greatest idea. Oh, uh, that would be a good improvement. That would yeah. be, yeah. That would help a lot of people. That would help a lot of people. Now, who is the funniest person you know? Uh, probably you. Me? <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. obviously. Thank you. Every Thank time you. I see you, you make make a joke, and I just crack up. You know, I'm pretty it's, witty. Yeah. Pretty Sometimes witty. you just say things, and I just fall on the floor. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. slamming the ground, oh. laughing. I'm pretty hilarious. You are. What are you most likely to be famous for? See, I've always had a knack for making money. Yeah? How so? Yeah. I went up to my friend, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, I have three dimes, you have two quarters. I'll give you my three dimes if you give me your two quarters, because three you, is more than two. You ripped your friend Because three off. is more than two. Needless to say, they're not my friend anymore. <gasps> That's cutthroat. It is. Wow. It is. You lost a friend for I like did. 20 cents. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> okay, Aiden, thank you so much. This was a That's great it. time. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. All right. Good job. All right, see you later. Thank you, Aiden, for that amazing interview. Recently at ORR, we had our homecoming FEP rally. This year, the freshman class chose the skit theme, Despicable Me. Now let's see how they did.
there's going to be, there's two sides. There's the, the yellow minions and the purple minions. So I'm going to keep wide because there's, I don't know what's going on. Nice job, freshman class. Good luck next year. Next in this special Halloween segment, we get to rank the candies from best to worst. Let's find out what's at the top of the list. Hello. <laughs> I can't not laugh. <laughs> My name is Margaret Berry, and this is a very serious segment. It's not. <laughs> this is my co-host, Rachel Pina. What's up? We're here today to rate the best and the worst of the Halloween candy. All right, Brianna. First candy, please. <laughs> this is the Hershey's bar. This is the first candy we have to try. You already know what it tastes like. It's just a chocolate bar. It's very predictable, but it's pretty good. It's actually not the best chocolate bar in the world. Stop. <laughs> Here, take that one. <laughs> okay, the best. I'm thinking not the best, but towards the best. Put it like halfway in between middle and the best. That's what I'm thinking. Are you in agreement? No. Okay, we'll put it first then. Okay. All right. So this is the Butterfinger. Our Butterfinger. Um, you said it exactly the same the second I way. Said Why did you fix your pronunciation? Butterfinger. It's oh. just Butterfinger. I mean, yeah. Okay. 
I do not, wait, does this have, I like peanut butter, but I don't like peanuts. Anything with nuts, not not good with me, so I am very biased. You're not gonna like payday. I mean, it's not my favorite candy in the world, but I'll take it. No, it's like flaky. You don't like it that much? No. Yeah, I'd say like, it's all right. It's not the worst candy we have in the lineup, definitely, but it's not better than Hershey's, so we'll put it right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch this one. Let's see what we do. It's a lame throw, Brownie. Milky better. Way! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna I... try Milky Way. What? Oh, they're so good. It's basically, we, we were gonna get a Three Musketeer bar, but I Those are much better. But I couldn't find it. This is, it's the same thing. It just has caramel in it. What? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I think it's good. I think it's good. I, I kind of like this one better than Hershey's because, like, it's got a feeling. No. No? No. Well, I overrule your opinion and it's going before this. I'm gonna okay. eat this later. See, even you liked it. Hey, This is a Reese's peanut butter cup. These are good. If you don't have a peanut allergy, it's the best candy. Even if you do ever. have a peanut allergy, it's still really good. If you do want to eat it, make sure you have an EpiPen on hand. I mean, it's bomb. You knew that already. It's one of the best, so it's before the Milky Way. I agree. Reese's going to the top. Next candy. Oh, my face is very Thanks. chocolatey. <laughs> This is the Snickers bar. Why are these all chocolate candies? Um, because we want to do candy bars and they don't have like Jolly Rancher bars. They're like, it's facts. All candy bars are like chocolate bars. Except for Peggy, which you're gonna hate. <laughs> How you feeling? I don't like it. You don't like this one? No. Yeah, It'd be better if it doesn't have the peanuts. We'll push this down the line a little more. Yeah. There we go. It's kind of a mess over here. <laughs> I was about to catch it and you didn't do it. So this is payday. I've never tried one of these, but I already know I don't like it. <laughs> it's really bad. I don't want to eat it. It's really bad. You have to do it. No. <laughs> uh -uh. It's going below the worst. It goes here. Oh. Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Where's it going? So you said behind Hershey's the four Snickers. I think that's sure. fair. That's fine. I think that's fair. This is um almond joy. So is that the almond part? Do I have mm -hmm. to eat the almond part? Yes. It's called almond joy. That's a no-go. It's going right here. Yeah, I'm gonna say because a lot of the public doesn't like coconut. It probably falls around here. Even though I think it's great. This is a Twix. Not just any Twix. It's a right Twix. <laughs> What's the difference? There isn't one. <laughs> Do you like the right one or the right one? Just like right in the middle. Okay. You know, we've got we've got one more candy left to go. The last one in the lineup. Throw it at Rachel's face. <laughs> no, I'm gonna catch this one. Oh. <laughs> we'll edit that part out. <laughs> this but. is a whatchamacallit. Like that's the actual name of the candy bar. It tastes okay. I don't know if I have an opinion on this one. Like I would eat it if it was given to me, but it's not my top pick. But four stickers. Okay, so these are the choices we've made. This is our ranking from best to worst or worst to best. And now we're gonna let Brianna, a fellow intern and friend, we're gonna let her make one change to the lineup. I feel like those are pretty solid. If I have to change one, I have to be down here. Okay. Probably, I'd probably move all of these two. Okay, you can Go switch ahead. them. Yeah, well, let's switch them. Yeah. Thanks, Brianna. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, the final lineup, the best and worst Halloween candies. Please make sure to have a safe and fun Halloween. If you're going trick-or-treating, don't eat razors. I was gonna say the same thing, <laughs> but then I was like, maybe maybe we shouldn't say that. I'll probably leave it in anyway. <laughs> Wear lots of colors and layers, have a flashlight, have a buddy. Just, like, just make smart choices just, this Halloween. Yeah, but if have you, a good time. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Well, Rachel, I don't know if I agree with some of your choices. Now, let's watch some of the funniest mistakes and mishaps we've had with the Bulldog crew. Next, let's learn more about... Yay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bulldog.
I'm your host, Margaret. <laughs> and I'm Brianna. We just did this the whole time. This week's episode. <laughs> it's like, like windshield wipers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for coming out and supporting our team. Radical. <laughs> no, there's nothing. Yeah, there's, yeah. Okay. Spongebob? No, I wasn't allowed to watch it. What? That was the only I thing I was allowed to watch. Oh, that's okay. I've got problems. <laughs> Here's 104 days of summer vacation. It's cool coming to along now to end it. The annual, annual problem, problem for our right generation is finding a good way to spend it. it. Like, like maybe. maybe. <laughs> Broadway is calling. <laughs> It's time for to look at what? It's time for to look. It, who wrote this script? Yeah. Now let's take a look at some of the best clips from this week's sports game. <laughs> it's my like attractive face, you know, it's like the bad boy. Radical, bro. You want to hit the waves later? Get some free songs? Stick with your morals, woman. You write something down, you gotta stick with it. Teachers and students, if you would like to have something filmed and shown here on Bulldog Weekly, let us know at the ORC TV station. 
Be sure to check out our Vimeo channel for everything we film here at ORC TV. We film sports games, town meetings, school events, and so much more.